to the English box. Today we're going to talk about some exercises relating to the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous. If you would like to have another look at the rules then you can click on this box to take you to another video all about the theory. So moving on to the first exercise we can read the question and it says write two correct sentences in A and B. One sentence should be in the present perfect simple and the other in the present perfect continuous. So remember we use the present perfect continuous with questions um, or sentences relating to how much or how many and we use the present perfect continuous relating to sentences or questions with how long. So in question one it says Dave is from England. He is traveling around South America at the moment. He set off on his trip two months ago. In A you have the verb travel and the time expression for two months and in B you have the verb to visit and the complement four countries so far. So you have to decide which one of these should go with the present perfect simple and which one you should form with the present perfect continuous. You have to do the same thing with questions two and three. So pause the video, write the sentences and then we'll look at the answers. So moving on to the answers, in question 1a we're talking about the duration of time, how long. So we use the present perfect continuous. He has been traveling for two months. In B, we're talking about how many, so how many countries has he visited. He has visited four countries so far. In number two, A, we're talking once again about the duration, how long, so the present perfect continuous. He has been working since 1999 and in B we're talking about how many. He has written five books since he left university. In number three, the first question, how many, so we use the present perfect simple, how many pages have you written and in B we use the present perfect continuous for how long, how long have you been writing the book for. The preposition for at the end is optional. Moving on to the next exercise, we have five sentences and every sentence has one mistake. So you have to pause the video, read the sentences and find the mistake. Are you ready? Well let's move on to the answers. So in the first sentence it says I have been to America three times, not I have been going to America three times because again we're talking about how many and not how long. How many specific or distinct occasions have you visited America? The second, I have read half of the book so far. We're talking about quantity again so it's the present perfect simple and not the present perfect continuous. Number three, we have been studying English for a long time. The verb have, the auxiliary verb have, has to be in this form and not as it was in the exercise as has. Remember has is only used for the third person. Number four, how long has he been teaching and not how long has he taught because we're talking about how long, we're talking about a duration of time. Number five, have you ever tried apple crumble not have you ever been trying apple crumble because we're talking about how many or if you have ever tried this in your life. With ever we only use the present perfect simple. Turning to exercise three, it reads what question would you ask in each of these situations? So you have four different situations and you have to make up a question for each of them. So for example in number one it says you arrive at the station, your friend is waiting for you and so you ask your friend a question in the present perfect simple or continuous and you have to use the words provided. So in number one for example 
the verb to wait and the word long. So once again, pause the video and then we'll come back and look at the answers. So here are the answers for number one. You arrive at the train station, your friend is waiting for you and you ask, have you been waiting long? In number two, your friend is playing in a snooker tournament and you ask, have you won any games yet? Number three, a good friend of yours is having a party tomorrow and you ask, how many people have you invited? And finally, number four, John started university two months ago and you ask, have you met lots of new people? Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, if you'd like to see more videos, then come to our site at www.englishbox.co.uk for more information on the present simple versus the um, sorry the present perfect simple versus the past simple. You can click on the box on the right hand side. And nothing more to say, but thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.